Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amy and I am on a financial freedom journey with my family and I share all about that on this channel. Today is Friday, which means we are filming Debt Free Friday today. I'm so excited to give you guys an update on the week. I know last week was kind of a sad, solemn <laughs> video, but I'm happy to report that I am doing much better this week. It was a much better week. We kind of have digested the things that have gone on and we're my husband and I are both feeling really good about what we're doing going forward and kind of like the decisions that we made last week. So definitely in a more chipper mood this week, although there is still a lot going on. So it's been a long week, but I am very happy that we are in a better place than we were last week. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I am filming this on my lunch break. I have a very, very limited time to film this. So I'm gonna make it quick this week. I don't have a ton to update. I've been kind of keeping you guys in the loop on the house situation for all my loyal Debt Free Friday followers. I appreciate you guys watching this video so much. So you guys always get like the real tea on what's going on in my life. <laughs> I feel like I do most of my updates in these videos. I'm happy to report. I know I think I told you guys last week that we had an accepted offer on our house and that is going well. We are working our way through that, um, through just all of the like stipulations that we need to, and that's going really well. So I'm happy about that. We are hoping to be closing on that in a couple of weeks. And then we also put an offer in on a, a different home or a new home for us. So that is also really exciting. Uh, that's kind of in the early process stages as well. We're kind of working towards what we need to for that. And we are hopefully going to be closing on both of our current home and our hopefully future home in in August, early August, hopefully. So we're kind of working through timeframes. It's a little bit troublesome with like buying and selling. It's kind of confusing to be honest. It's a little bit stressful just having to work out like the timing and stuff. Um, obviously we need to, or we hope to at least stay in this house while we are buying our next house. And so we'll kind of like working through timelines and stuff, but both of those are in process, which is really exciting. So we are buying and selling and everything is going well. So I will definitely have an update for you guys. I know I talked a little bit about it last week. I will film a dedicated video to this. I'm probably going to wait though, because again, right now there's not like a ton to update on besides the fact that we are in the process of selling and buying. Not a ton to update yet, but I will definitely do a call for questions on Instagram and YouTube, and then I will film a dedicated video all about the process. I will most likely share all of our numbers. I haven't really talked to my husband about that, but I don't see him having a problem with it necessarily since I share most of our numbers on here anyway, but I will try to do that in a way that will be clear and it'll probably take me a little bit to like digest everything myself. So I will film that video, but it'll probably be at the end of the process. Um, also, let me know if you guys want a like house tour. I know my channel is not really like vlog or like that kind of channel really, but um, if you guys want one, I would be happy to try to film that. I'm not sure if I would be able to film it when it's empty or not. I don't know what our time frame is gonna be. We're probably gonna be working on a tight time frame with buying and selling. So it'll probably be like, we're gonna need to move in quickly. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to do like an empty one. But if you guys have interest in that, please let me know in the comments and I will do my best to try to film something about um, our new house. So I'm really excited. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about the house because again, I'm going to film like a dedicated video and possibly even like a house tour if you guys want. So, okay, I'm going to stop blabbing. <laughs> and just get into Debt Free Friday. So we are still working towards our goals. Those are not changing at this time. So we're just gonna keep going on the path that we're going on until we officially like close on the houses and everything. And then I'll probably reevaluate. We started this week in our house fund at 8,495 and that was at 34%. And then this week we were able to send 350 to savings and that leaves us with an ending of 8,000. $845. And that leaves us with a left to save of 16155 So again, we are doing less this month because we have a lot of things going on. We also have five Fridays, so we have to split over more weeks. So yes, it's a little bit less than normal, but that's okay. We're still making really good progress. I'm very, very 
thankful and happy that we're able to put that much towards our goals. So actually, oops, I forgot 35% that is at, which is great. Um, obviously we are going to be quite short of our goal for like when we're actually buying and selling, but we did not anticipate that we would be selling this quickly. We originally thought we would be selling like later this year or possibly even early next year. So it was just kind of a change of plans and that's okay. It was definitely the best time to sell. I know the market is kind of starting to shift. And so we wanted to do it before things started to possibly shift even further. I'm not really sure. I obviously don't know a ton about real estate. I don't really work in that field. I just enjoy personal finance. I am by no means an expert or anything. So totally speculation. But you know, my our realtor said that, you know, it seemed like things would kind of be starting to shift soon. So we definitely, I think, made the best decision for us. But again, that did just affect our ability to get to our goals that we originally had set. For our Roth IRA, I'm hoping that we'll be able to shift more to this at um, the end of summer. Like once all of our house stuff is done, I'm really hoping that we can knock this out fairly quickly. I'm kind of sick of <laughs> like throwing little tiny chunks at this goal. I'm like, I really just want to get the Roth IRA done this year, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. We're just going to keep going like we are right now and then we will reevaluate. So we started this week at 840. This week we did put a little bit more. We put 120 and that leaves us with 960 and that was at 14% and 16%. I'm not going to write them because I have like no room left, but 14%. Now we're at 16%, which is great. And we're almost to a thousand dollars, which is also really exciting. I feel like once we get to a thousand, it'll feel like we're making better progress, but like we've been under a thousand for so long. It just feels like this goal is taking forever. So we have left to save $5,040 in our Roth IRA for this year. Again, we are maxing out my Roth IRA this year, and hopefully next year we will do both mine and open and one for my husband as well. So for side hustle income this week, I did only have one source of side hustle income, but it's one that I am really proud of because I've been saying that I wanted to do this again and I have a bin of clothes. So as we are preparing to move and doing all the things related to that, I have been going through my kids' closets again, really like fine tooth comb, decluttering everything. Like I don't want to move things. My husband and I, um, little backstory, have moved tons I mean, tons. I think my husband has moved like 16 times in his adult life and I have probably moved like 12. We have lived in this house now for four years, four and a half years. And, you know, we've accumulated a lot of things. And so we just really don't want to move things that we don't really need. And so it has kind of been sparking my decluttering journey again, which I'm really happy about because it feels so good to me to let things go that we're not using. And I really want to instill that in my kids too, that like, we need to give things to people who need them and like we don't need to hold on to things. And so that's been really a focus of mine. And that's another re reason why we've been so busy because I've really been trying to go through like every inch of our house. Anyways, long, long story short. Sorry, you guys, you know, I love to chat. Okay. <laughs> that's just, that's what you come to my channel for, right? We're just chatting. It's Debt Free Friday. I love to talk to you guys, even though you can't talk back to me right now, but you always do in the comments. And I so appreciate you so, so much. All that to say, I did get a big bin full of clothes from my kids out of their closets. We have three kids, so it's a lot of clothes. And I was able to make $43 from kids resale. So I just took them to Once Upon a Child. I know that that's not, you know, the most lucrative way to sell children's clothes, but to me, it's the easiest. I just drop the bin off and then go pick it up later. So $43 towards our financial goals from things that we weren't using. And then I just donated the rest to a local place in my town that takes children's. I believe it's for foster families and all of that. That felt really good too. Whatever they did not take, they didn't take um, probably even half of it. It was, the bin was still pretty full, but that's totally okay. I know they're like really picky with seasons and stuff and like, you know, the age of the clothes and stuff. Some of it was probably too old for them, but we were able to donate it and that felt really good as well. So it was a win-win. We did make a little bit of money and we were also able to help some families that really needed it. That is all I have for this week. I'm going to pop in the clip of filling out the tracker and then I will come back to you close up the video.
All right, that is all I have for you guys for this week. I hope that you guys had an awesome week. Please let me know in the comments down below, what did you do to move yourself financially forward this week? I would love to chat with you about it in the comments, and I hope that you guys have an awesome weekend. I will see you back here on Tuesday. Bye, guys.